they do like this now you're pretty what excuse me Hey guys, it's just and welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It's right down below. Also, please like this video. Liking the video really does help with the algorithm, helps my channel grow, so just help me a little bit and like this video. But anyway, let's get into it. I love TV shows and movies. I want to work on a set. I want to be a producer one day. I watch TV shows all the time. Movies, mm, I have a hard time. I can sit down for 10 hours straight and watch the entire TV series, but you ask me to sit down and watch a two hour movie, I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna struggle, I don't know why, but I still love them nonetheless. But anyway, I just think that there are things in movies and TV shows that they do way too often that have got to stop. And so today I'm gonna be talking about movie and television tropes that I think need to end ASAP. Y'all gotta stop with it. Like we're bored, I'm snoozed, I'm tired, I'm asleep. Go stop it. Thank you. I don't know if I can really call these tropes necessarily, but just things in TV shows that they do all the time that I'm tired of seeing. So anyway, let's get into it. Not the hair flip. Hold on. These are definitely not all of them, but it is some of them enough of them the first movie and television trope that i think needs to end is the idea that glasses make you ugly this one right here pisses me off listen i wear glasses okay i'm not wearing them right now because i'm filming from the window and the glare from the window just really is just a lot it bothers me when i'm editing i don't like the way it looks so i don't wear my glasses but listen who's ugly with glasses <laughs> who's ugly with glasses i'm not ugly with glasses i look good i look cute what are you talking about like i look cute and then i took them off I know Jess is cute. I look good. I look good. So why is that in the movies that I watched growing up? She was gonna be going on a date right with a guy, right? And her friends are trying to change her and be like, girl, like, I have to get ready for the date. And so they do her makeup and then they do like this. Now you're pretty. What? Excuse me? That made me feel like I was so ugly in my glasses. So you know what I did? I only wore my glasses when I was sitting in class looking at the screen. But as soon as I was not looking up at the screen, I took them off, did my work, put them back on to read the screen, took them off, walked around a little bit blurry, a little bit blurry. Only because I felt like I was ugly with my glasses on. It's because y'all's movies and TV shows made me feel like I was ugly with my glasses on. But tell me something, who is ugly with the glasses on? Cause it's not me. Maybe it's you. It's not me. It's not me for real. So yeah, that really just was really too much for me as a child. So let's stop. Glasses do not make you ugly. And again, the only reason why I'm not wearing my glasses is because of the glare from the window. I just don't like the glare. It just bothers me as a viewer. So in order to make sure it doesn't bother you, don't wear them. Anywho, <coughs> this one, I'm not even gonna get into this one because this could be a whole entire video but all of the black stereotypes cut it out let's stop it angry black girl black best friend let's cut it out that's all i'm on the matter right now i might make a video on that we're tired we've seen them all let's stop next one okay this one always bothers me so the next movie and tv show trope that has to end is the one where someone has something to say right they have something to say so bad and then they go to the person they need to talk to and right before they get it out the person's like hold on I have something to say and they say something that causes the other person to not want to say what they want to say i'm gonna act all this stuff out for y'all so y'all can see what i'm talking about hey marie oh hey michael what's up look there's been something that i've been meaning to tell you for a really long time yeah what's going on tell me well i'm in love oh wait really quickly i have to tell you something it's uh, so important can i please tell you right now yeah sure go ahead Okay, you're not ready for this. You're not ready at all. Steve and I are finally together. You're, you're what? I know. I liked him for such a long time, but I was too afraid to say anything. Then I finally said something and he was like, I like you too. And I'm like, you're kidding. He's like, I'm not. And he was like, you're kidding. I'm like, I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, it was so crazy how it happened. It was so romantic. <laughs> There's not a single guy on this earth that could ever replace Steve. Like, he is my person for real. I am so in love with him. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Congratulations. <sighs> anyway, I have to go. Um, oh, wait, what was it that you wanted to tell me? Nah, it can wait. Are you sure? It can wait. Okay, well, sit yourself. I'm gonna go see Steve. <sighs> Bye, Michael. <laughs> First of all, if you get cut off, let them say what they gotta say, but don't let that deter you from saying what you gotta say. You know, I don't care if they are confessing their love to you. If you're trying to break up with them, you break up with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. It just causes more drama. That's why they do it, to cause more drama, but I'm tired of it. I feel like it'd be more dramatic if the person says like, I'll just say something to you. Like, hold on, I just had to say, I love you so much. Like, I really love you so much. Um, yeah, and then they're like, oh wait, what do you have to say? And they'll be like, actually, you know what? I know you just confess your love, but me, I'm not feeling it. That is so much more dramatic to me than you lying to them and be like, oh, nothing, it can't wait, it can't wait. 
it can't wait <laughs> okay so this one is so cheesy to me but the next movie and television show factor needs to end is the one where someone goes on stage to read a speech and like they have their note cards and stuff and then they start like reading on the <laughs> sorry this one's so cheesy. It does not hit the way y'all think it does. But they start reading off their note cards and then they have a moment where they're just like, no. And then they just speak from the heart. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Next, Next up on the stage, we have your bald corner. Today is our graduation. Wow. wow. The last four years really flew by really fast, huh? And I have to say, I really enjoyed all those four years. They were the best years of my life. I have only fond memories about my time here at this school with you people. I also have to say that... I, I, you know what? I didn't enjoy my four years here. In fact, they were the, they were worst, the worst four years of my entire life. life. I can't I wait, can't to, wait get to get out of here. You guys degraded, degraded me, me, berated me, berated me, me and marinated me. me. How the heck was I supposed, supposed to enjoy that? that? But you know what? what? I'm grateful. Without you guys, I would have no idea who I am. But because of all the bullying and bad, I now know who I am and who I want to be. I can't wait to never see you guys again. But thank you. We did it. Like, I'm so sorry to producers and screenwriters and all of that, but it does not hit the way y'all think it does. It doesn't. As soon as someone goes on stage with a, a, um, a sheet of paper or whatever, I expect them to close it and then speak from the heart. Baby, just read your notes. <laughs> Just read the note card. You worked so hard in that speech. Just read a note card. It's just cheesy. It's cheesy. And I love cheesy stuff. I do. I really do love cheesy stuff. But I think this one specifically, I'm just like kind of tired of it. I'm kind of tired of it a little bit. Just read the notes. <laughs> read a note card. The fifth movie and television trope that I think needs to end is just cheating. Not much to say, but like, is it everyday cheat? I understand like it's a thing people do. Not me though. Won't catch me cheating on nobody. There's other ways to cause drama in television shows and movies than cheating. There are other ways to cause a couple to break up besides cheating. Let's start exploring those options. Let's start thinking outside the box, innit? Like, yeah. So the next movie and television show that I can use to end is the one where they don't eat their breakfast. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, good morning, darling. How are you? Wow, mom, this is a really, really big breakfast. Yeah, I've been making it all morning long. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> Too bad I can't eat any. Uh, I'm so late for school. So you can't stay? No. I even for a bite. I can't stay for it. You want a sip? No. Uh, I'll just take this girl to the bar. Okay, mom. Bye. She can't talk. Why are you not eating your breakfast? Hmm? Your mama, your grandmama, and your daddy, they slaved in the kitchen. Slaving in the kitchen, making a breakfast for you. Whole entire table covered in food. And you grab a grape. Sorry, you gotta go. No, you don't. You're gonna sit down and eat that food. If not, take some of it with you. Bring it to school, give it to someone that needs the food who doesn't even have food in the house. People are struggling and you're not even gonna eat your food. That, I never understood that. Is what you gotta do so important that you can't just eat a little meal? You can't even take a little bit to go. That's just really rude to me. <laughs> it's very rude. The next movie and television trope that I think needs to end, this kind of goes with the stereotypes, but it's the one where they take the black kid out of the black neighborhood, bring him to the white neighborhood, and then he succeeds. The only show that I accepted is All American. All American, they did it well. They did it well. It didn't feel like a stereotypical take the kid out the hood, take the kid out the hood movie. Like, we're tired of that. We were tired of taking kid out hood. Why can we just have them live in their own neighborhood and make their own neighborhood great? Why don't we take them out and make another neighborhood great? You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm a little bit tired of it. Yeah. So the last movie and television trope that I think needs to end, as of right now, the last one, I can't think of anymore. But this one, I decided to write down it literally last night while I was watching a TV show that I love. Mm. This trope is the one where the two characters, after seasons upon seasons, episodes upon episodes, hours upon hours of the movie, they finally admit that they have feelings for each other. And then the next day, one of them has to go to another country. Hey, Marie? Oh, hi, Michael. I gotta tell you something. Go ahead. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were it for me. I've just been so afraid to tell you, but now I have the courage. And you know what? I'm in love with you, Marie. I'm in love with you too. What? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>
So, we start our lives together, huh? I'm going to Australia for three years. What do you mean you're going to Australia for three years? I found a job there. It's my dream job. I have to go. What are we gonna do? We'll make it work. We will. I mean, I'll wait for you. Will you wait for me? I'll wait for you. Really? No, I mean it. I will. What about that girl at your job? Don't worry about that girl at my work that's my work wife. I don't care about her. I care about you, Marie. I'll wait for you. I will. I promise. I'm in if you are. See you in three years, my love. I'll see you later. Why? Why? You put us through all of this drama and all this stress for the past three seasons. And now the characters finally admit that, yeah, I did like you. Like, I I do like you. Now they're moving to another country? Why? Because they're never going to come back and be together. If they decide to do long distance, they're going to move and cheat on each other and come back and be like, I cheated on you. And then it's like over. And all those seasons of stress and turmoil that they put us viewers through, gone down the drain. Or if they decide, you know, I'll wait for you, I'll wait for you. They don't have to be waiting. They go off, they meet somebody else, and they come back and say, I met someone else else everyone did if one of them moves with them to the new neighborhood or new country or whatever when they move they start to resent them for making them move like why can't you just stay let's just have a happy ending for one again there are other ways to cause drama it's not every day characters they finally admit their feelings for each other and boom I'm going to America. What? You're not going to America. You're staying here. You know that TV show, you know what I'm talking about. But like, what do you mean? I'm tired. I'm tired of it, I'm very tired of it. Anywho, those are all the tropes. Again, I don't know if I can really call them tropes, but just things that happen in movies and TV shows over and over again that I'm tired of seeing. I'm very tired of it. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below. Comment down below, whatever you want to comment down below. Follow me on all my social medias and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.